Hello and thank you for watching our videos on Sane Auto YouTube. I'm your host Victor Sane. I've been ASE certified since the 1980s and master certified since 1991. <laughs> Do you have concerns about your hybrid batteries? Does your battery charge indicator seem to go down faster or go back up faster than it used to? This vehicle used to average 47. Now it seems to average 44 in the last couple of weeks. Do you have that problem? Do you have any other problems that you want to put in the description that make you have a concern about the battery? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then watch this video and our other videos on hybrid battery maintenance and repair. In this video, we're going to start with showing you how to get to the battery, the high voltage or hybrid battery, so that you can do your maintenance and or repairs. Start by taking the seat belts loose right here at the back of the rear seats and then press this button down firmly while pulling on the seat. Repeat on the other side. Seat belt loose, button pressed, and pull. Then twist these locks counterclockwise. There should be a second one here. This one's missing one. Fold this up, fold again, and remove. Then you remove this tray and all the junk that's in it. You'll want to vacuum this area before you start doing this because stuff is going to fall down in there. You can see this, this one already has a lot of trash fell down in there. This stuff off to the side is not necessary to remove, but it is helpful to have access. This battery over here is not your high voltage, it's not your hybrid battery. Your hybrid battery is under here. Your spare and spare tools and stuff can remain here. Trash can go in the trash. You want to lift this flap on both sides. Oh, look, there's an extra bowl. Hmm, somebody's been here before. We'll have to save that and find out where they left it out from. Uh, oh, that that's just paper. I thought that was food for a second. Well, probably shouldn't eat that anyway. See, there's Velcro here. You need to pull that loose. That gives you access to these bolts, but we're not gonna go after that yet. We're gonna take the bottom seat out first. Now, if this is a customer's car, your friend's car, your relative's car, <clears throat> any change you find, any of other valuables you find belongs to them. If it's your car and you find valuables or change, then it belongs to you. If you find old moldy food, that always belongs to somebody else. On the passenger side, we repeat the process. Oh, look here, there's a bolt missing. I wonder, the mystery bolt we found. Yes, it does fit. When we're removing the bottom portion of the seat, You reach under and slide your hand back and forth across the underneath until you find the spot where the metal piece goes down into the clip. Then you've got to get your knee in the center of the seat, get both hands on either side of that clip, and get a, get a little momentum and jerk, and it pops out. You've got to do this other side. Okay, I could get my knee off of it or it won't come up. Here on either side okay then you lever the seat up I'm afraid of what we're gonna find under here it's, it's probably not pretty I just hope there's no body parts in here lever this up it's that disconnects the catches in the back and then slide it forward if you dare hopefully there's tools and stuff in here I don't know what that is Oh, there's a spoon. That's not a good sign. There's another mystery bolt. Yeah. Whoever worked on this before needs a good smacking. Alright, so the seat comes out. 
And you can take this bolt out. And there are six clips that hold this down on top of the high voltage or hybrid battery. You can't be afraid of this because it takes some force to pull it up. See, there's a clip and a clip. These stayed on the battery, so we're going to have to pull them off. There are six of these. And it looks like somebody's been working on it left some. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. No, they're all here. And the other two that go right there are right here. We'll have to pull these out and put them back on here. But you have access to the battery right now. And it looks like there's this is dented in a little bit. We're going to fix that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six clips. And that's where the bolt was. And there is your high voltage hybrid battery. And you take this 12 millimeter loose right here that holds the seat belt that goes into the seat. Get that loose. And there it is. It's a 13 millimeter or half inch. And then we have right here a bolt. It's 13 and underneath here a 13 millimeter bolt. If you can't see it on the camera, the other 13 millimeter bolt is in the exact same spot as this one, but on the passenger side or the starboard side. Come back here. That should be all the bolts. One, two, the one in the seat belt, three, and then the two down here, that's five. Three of them are 13 or half inch. The other two are 12 millimeter. Now it's important to clean out the fan, which is right here on a regular basis, to keep your high voltage hybrid battery cool got a clip right here for this little plastic shield get it to come up without ruining our crow's foot and another clip right here yes they it takes a little bit of force to get them out even with the correct tool uh, things like these crow's feet little plastic crow's feet uh, tools like that and some of my other tools that I show in my videos will be a description a, a link in the description to the tools and or the parts that I use there's your fan right here we still haven't gotten to where we can work on it yet because we've got a seat belt here in the way and this has to come loose and it's got yet another bolt right here It's 12. Yeah, it is 12. This is another part that needs to be cleaned. Not just the fan. But I think it's got to go. Yeah, up. There we go. And there's some Velcro right there. As you can see, right here is where the bolt was. 12 millimeter bolt, a little piece of Velcro down here at the bottom, and right here is the hook. You had to push up to get this hook loose from this point right here. Oh, look how nasty it is in the duct work there. Yeah, that's going to need to be cleaned. Not a lot here, but still want to clean that out. So I'm put that with the pile of stuff to clean. 
and there's a push pin right there and it looks like it's very accessible from the back so we can just get right behind it push a little bit get some room underneath the head and then get the crow's foot under the head get on both sides of it so not to tear up the push pin so that way we can reuse it See? should be another one here somewhere oh I've got to take that loose first it's going to require the no notoriously lost all the time 10 millimeter lucky for me I have bought about five or six 10 millimeters so that I can always find one. I don't know why is it that 10 millimeters always disappear. See one. Don't lose those. Alright, so now there's room. Get back here and find the other. Okay, it's right there. The other push pin, it's right here. Drop it down in there. See, right there. Now lift that up and out. And so this doesn't have to come all the way out, but that does have to come loose so that you can move it enough to work this duct work out, which is very nasty. Look at all that. This is way overdue for cleaning. And if this is that nasty, you know down inside the motor it's going to be pretty bad. As a matter of fact, let me take you guys off the tripod here and give you a good look. Okay, let's get you zoomed in here where you can see the very, very important cooling motor for the high voltage battery. And what happens, people are not doing the maintenance. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this still and get it into a position where you can actually see good. It is just very very nasty there is oh yeah you can really see it right there there is so much dust and dirt pet dander stuff like that built up on the fins of this cooling motor this fan motor that there is no way that these fins even resemble the original shape that they were designed to be which means it's not pushing nearly as much air as it would be if it didn't have all this gunk on it. We've got to get this motor out, completely out, and clean it up very well. Now, if you don't have an air compressor like I do, you can buy those cans of compressed air that people use for their computers and stuff like that. But don't do this in the car. Take the fan motor out and do it outside because this is going to be a mess. Got a bolt and nut in the front. A 10 millimeter. Have one bolt in the back. Don't worry if you can't see it on the video, you will see it when you're doing the job. Believe me, it's it's not hidden. And it looks just like the one in the front, only the washer got stuck. But yeah, it's the same thing. And yes, that makes it loose, but you've got some other things here. You got this wire right here, you got to get under, push that loose. It goes down into there, and you got to be careful, it's all plastic. Push that under there out of the way. And we got I gotta walk around the back and get this connector loose. Don't worry, when I pull this up out of here, I'm going to give you a better view of the connector. If I ever get it loose here. Oh, come on. These electrical connectors can be the worst part of the job. There we go. Old trusty pocket knife. 
push that release in with it. Now the connector itself is made like a little push pin and it's crammed down in the hole in the metal support here, metal bracket. And there's a lot of things in the way. Well, one thing in the way, is there's enough things in the way. Okay, let's see. All right, I'm turn this around where you can see what I was struggling with. This is one clip that goes down into the bracket. This is the connector itself. It has a clip too. I can't pull this other one up where you can see it, but on the passenger side of this connector right here is where the release is. You push it in right there and pull that out. But you still have to get this loose from the bracket. And it requires getting underneath of it with some pair of pliers and pinch this together and push up at the same time. This one, I had to get my pocket knife up underneath the edge of it. Like so, get the pocket knife under the edge and twist. Pop it loose. You can do the same thing with a flat blade screwdriver. Make sure you get a dust mask. My philosophy is, if, if you wouldn't lick it or swallow it, you don't need to be breathing it. So no matter how hot, miserable, and uncomfortable it is, put a dust mask on, suck it up, buttercup, and protect yourself. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that cloud? Oh, geez. Dang. It's like it's got a smoking problem. That's pretty nasty. And it's still nasty. Don't make it go too fast. You don't want to hear it whining too much and mess up the bearings. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I'm thinking a cat, maybe. It's part of a cat. If not, you could probably build a cat out of that. It's really crappy. There's still a lot of gunk in there, but we've got a lot of it out already. Let me hold it still with my finger. starting to resemble the shape of fan blades again. Okay, I think that's about as far as I'm going to get with the with the air blower. I'm going to switch to an old toothbrush or a brand new toothbrush. I've got some nice new ones from Dollar Tree and stuff that you get a whole pack of four, four of them for a dollar. And of course, you don't want to use those for brushing your teeth. You want to use them for stuff like this. And Q-tips too. You can get down in there with a Q-tip. And there may be some other tips and tricks of how to clean stuff like this in the description, in the comments of the video from people like Fab Automotive Detailing. He does a lot of really good cleaning work because he does do detailing. And Uzo Lou's Garage, who also does a lot of really good detailing work. And Camaro time, Camaro time. Man, you should see his vehicles. They're always clean. But the hardest bit is that last little bit in the center, way down in here. But as you can see, the fence look 90% clean, almost like new and 80% of the 
fins here and much cleaner in that even the dirtiest part is still much cleaner than it was and the most importantly the fins are shaped like fins again the fan blades are shaped like fan blades again we're gonna give it one last blast with the air hose to make sure we've got it dried out real good Even that took some out of it that didn't come out with the scrubbing. So now it's even cleaner. I think we're done here. Time to put it back together. Remember how nasty this piece of ductwork was? Looks like brand new inside and out now. Now you'll notice there's ductwork here and you can't see it but there's a piece of ductwork this goes into down here and this goes you know in underneath the batteries and then through there goes through the batteries and out so bearing that in mind as nasty as this was we're gonna have another video where I take this all apart again and then I'm gonna take this entire high voltage hybrid battery out and clean it and clean all of the duct work that goes with it which is not part of the recommended maintenance but I mean really I don't know why that's not recommended because it just seems obvious to me that it needs to be done. So once you get your motor back in place, start putting your bolts back in. Do something about this washer. There we go. Get that back in. You got to be careful. You don't want to drop these down in there because there's layers and layers of brackets here. And it could bounce around and go back and forth, back and forth, and get down in the spot where you either have to start fishing with a magnet, or you may even have to take the the whole hybrid battery out. Don't do anything I do in my videos, and don't even do anything I talk about in my videos. Welcome to Saint Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a Saint Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ins, so make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruisings y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para que no pierda nada.